Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, let's see um, what your money's looking like. Let's start with money. Then we'll go into love because, you know, love could be... Love is a losing game. Love can be whatever you make it, right? So let's see. How uh, is Aquarius finance? Career and finance for the Aquarius. Career and finance for the Aquarius. I just heard amazing. Car career and finance. King of Cups. Yes, yeah, some of you are definitely concerned about business matters. You could be pursuing some creative endeavor here. So whatever it is that you do, you get inspiration, you know, from... The divine from wherever and then you you know it's inspired and then you create uh with the king of cups also it says that um a lot of times you'll find emotional contentment because the money is right or the money is at a place where um it looks good you're able to make moves so it looks like money it, it, so it's like when you don't have money sometimes your vibration is low when you're without all you can think about is how to get more money how to get out of you know that place it looks like some of you are emotionally content therefore your finances are content give me a one more card for aquarius career finances okay wow the eight of wands flew out of the deck things are opening up for you obstacles being removed life is operating moving at a fast pace things are coming in people are reaching out there's emails there's text messages people want you to do that do that go here have that will you be involved in this um you're getting a, a lot of opportunity with the eight of wands here it looks really good things are it, it's just going to be opportunity for you to make some fast decisions too it's not going to be for you to you know sit on your hands with this or you know, ring your fingers. It's time for you to really get out there and do it because the universe is aligning uh, the timing, you know, timing. Other people's money is coming up. I don't know if um, you do something with other people's money. You could be in the accounting profession. Um, this could even be taxes, loans, inheritance, something about somebody else's money coming to, coming to you, Aquarius. What else can we talk about here with um also this is the law of attraction so some of you are attracting a lot of different opportunities to make money some of you are doing a lot of energy work to pull in that money here also this is really 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 good let's see what's going on for aquarius career and finance wow it wanted to pop out the empress the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Some of you are planning a secret move or secret moves or you keep your moves in secret. Um, you're releasing something here. It doesn't work for you anymore. It was too much, too tiresome. The way you used to have to work overtime, uh, extra hours, second job, third job. The universe is saying that's over, that's done. You don't have to do that anymore. You have to strategize about how to do all of that. You could come into a place of rest. You may be keeping that to yourself though. Um, or they're asking to keep it to yourself with the seven of swords. Um, some of you are going to come into doing some independent work, contractor work, the lone wolf. Yeah, definitely starting something new. Three of cups, the initial stages of creation. Also, it says you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. The universe is shining bright on you, um, making some big moves here. Celebration due to whatever you're bringing into fruition. You have come out of the cold, out of a place of lack, stagnation, feeling like you, you're being ignored by the universe. Um, all because you learned some type of, some tools. Maybe it's a manifestation type of ritual, tools, whatever, to bring something in here. There's something you're doing repeatedly on repeat. Watch, rinse, repeat so that you can make this happen. This looks so good, Aquarius. Some of you could be starting business, new job, uh, buying something new. Whatever it is, it's big and it's going. it could be very fruitful and abundant for you. It could even be in the arts. Again, some of you could be singers or just creative 
by nature. Uh, it could be fashion. It could you could have a lot of people looking at you, uh, reaching out to you. One more card, last card for career and finance for Aquarius. Wow, the high priestess, very nice. Keep your plan secret right for right now. Everybody doesn't need to know what you're doing, how you're doing it, where you're going, uh, where'd you get your money from. Um, the universe wants you to listen to that still, quiet voice that speaks to you, that's been speaking to you forever. It's a whisper though, so you have to be in a place where you can hear. And that whisper is about your life purpose. What you were sent here to do, what you're sent here to accomplish with the high priestess. Uh, you need to get to a place where you can make that decision to come out of just going to work for money, but the actually establishing wealth here. The Ace of Pentacles says wealth. The Nine of Pentacles says um, abundance, an overflow, a large amount, more than enough, walking garden. So... It's like some of you, if you want that, if you want that abundance, you're going to have to, you're going to make some decision. And we know what a decision is. It is cutting something out or off and, and choosing to go in the other direction. So you have to really decide here. Some of you do some esoteric type of work, whatever. If you do that work, it's going to bring you a lot of abundance. This is what you should be doing, says the Three of Cups. You're creating a lot of uh, partnership, friendship. Um, I don't know how to say that. Um, so it's like uh, I don't, the he it's like the heavens shining on you. The angels are happy, rejoicing because you're doing something you're supposed to be doing. This is celebration time for some of you. Let's see um, what we have going for uh, love and romance. So career finance looks phenomenal. And before I start pulling the cards, I heard amazing. So don't even worry, Aquarius, especially you know if you're out here doing your thing. It is amazing. Let's see. Love and romance for Aquarius. It's like you, you, this is the gestation period, Aquarius, for something big to come into your life in terms of career and finance, because you have the high priestess and the empress there. The empress is pregnant. The high priestess is um, about to be pregnant with that idea. If you, if you listen to your intuition and then you're pregnant, and it could even mean gestation period and then birth with the empress. So it's like idea and then birth and then bringing it into fruition. So for some of you, it's like, you know, whatever you're doing, it, it can be very lucrative major for you is what I just heard. All right. And it's because it's what you're supposed to be doing. And if we all just follow that, we wouldn't have money issues and stress and anxiety. If you just do what you're, you, what you were sent here to do, how do you know what you were sent to do? Because you get in a place where you can hear from spirit. Um, all right. So love and romance. What do we have to tell Aquarius? One card overarching energy love and romance the death card dun, 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 dun. so if this could be transition or ending all right so this could be the transition of a relationship situationship it's transitioning into you're gonna have to fill in the blank we'll try to fill in the blank with some more cards or this is, card literally talks about the ending of a relationship something being over um especially for feminine energy okay uh, so same sex, you have to just determine if you're the feminine energy. Um, so let's see where, whatever you are rooted and grounded in, it, you could be uprooting yourself. It's done. It's dying or it's dead. Let's see. Um, how is Aquarius coming into this love reading? The temperance card. So you're trying to govern yourself accordingly. Uh, moderation, the middle ground. You're not trying to get too overly excited about maybe even something good in your love life, nor are you trying to be pessimistic. So it's just like taking the middle ground here. I'm not going to jump for joy just yet. Also, this could even be compromise or salvaging a relationship. Again, back to that transitional energy. Maybe some of you are just transitioning into a, a more calm space, a more calm, uh, placid way of being, understanding that cooperation 
is what makes things work. You know, always going against the grain, um, rebelling. Then, you know, you kind of, you cause that spirit in other people. You rebel, they rebel. And it's just all out war, right? So let's see how Aquarius person is coming into the reading. How is Aquarius person coming into the reading? How is Aquarius the person? Okay, two cards for now. The Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. They're not sure if they should offer this. They're standing still right now. What they do want to offer is a more committed relationship. Again, cooperation. If you go and look at the textbook, Meaning of the Two of Swords, it's about, you know, taking a pause because of maybe needing to cooperate and learn cooperation, uh, compromise. Uh, you have to learn that, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I had a, got a text message and it was out of the blue. Anyhow, um, so this person is coming into this not knowing if this is gonna work, not making a decision about it just yet, uh, waiting, they're gonna come back to this what how they feel is i'll come back to this decision it's not a yes it's not a no it's definitely a maybe things are still kind of up in the air this person is also guarding their mental in their heart also it's something about maybe not even yeah um there's karma or there was karma between the two of you the page of swords and the five of swords the page of cups and the five of swords so it's like Somebody's lack of emotional maturity causes argument, drama, frustration, reversal. Even when it looks like it's going good, it just reverses. And your person or you could be trying to figure out, should we fight for this or just let it go? Do we persevere and hopefully the miracle happens or do we just let this go? Somebody sees long term with you. Maybe you see long term with them. Somebody's not trying to see it. The Four of Cups, missing out on the opportunity or the blessing. Someone's trying to show you that they've changed. They've had a shift in personality, a transition in personality, whomever this is. You could be seeing two, two, two. This person is planning to be your husband. They want you as a wife or vice versa. Yeah. So your person is... Knight of Pentacles, they're, they're already dedicated and loyal to this, but they may have not shown that. And for some of you who know you are dealing with who you would term as the devil, then this reading is not for you. Don't try to force it. But if you know you were dealing with somebody where there were just petty issues of communication and not getting back, and maybe there was somebody else that inserted themselves in the relationship, but it wasn't volatile it wasn't so much drama to the point where you just you know um you just couldn't cope i don't know everybody's got their you know their uh turning point but you'll know if this is your situation or not it's like both of you are just trying to remain calm it's like this person wants to offer you something what is the knight of pentacles for aquarius person i i've told you Six of Wands, this person probably wants to marry you. They really want to put you up on that pedestal. They want you to be number one. But you guys have been in this roundabout before, so they're not exactly sure. Um, the Six of Wands, they want to promote you, promote you to maybe number one. They want you to be their number one. Uh, how does Aquarius feel about this? How does Aquarius feel about this person? How does Aquarius feel about this person? Ace of Pentacles, you feel like you want wealth with them. You want the opportunity. You want the ring here. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles sometimes can be significant of an engagement ring. You want a healthy foundational start. You want to give it 110%. You've come to some you've come to a place of understanding yourself psychologically and you just you know that you need to do the work or, or there's going to be a lot of work between the two of you. You just want a fair start a fair shake in this i don't know if there were other people involved in this relationship some of you want apology okay so what can aquarius expect from this person what can aquarius expect from this person 
I'm hearing this about you. It's on you. They're going to move like you move. Yep. King of Swords. So they're kind of moving like you move. Um, they're calculated, strategic. They know what they really want. And it's to offer you something long term. But they're not sure if you guys can make it there. Because you've been here before. The King of Swords. They're not showing their hand. They're not showing their emotions. Um, they could have a lot of emotion for you. But they, they just refuse to kind of acknowledge it right now. Uh, the king of swords very amb ambitious you can expect this person to still operate how they operate maybe i um, very very much uh independently yeah it's like this person is really trying to manifest something the magician you can expect them to say the right things give you a really nice eloquent speech to sell themselves to sell this relationship expect them to have enlightenment they're getting some bright fat flashes of light downloads channeling about what this relationship can be what can Aquarius expect you know the ten of cups it's like this person really just wants to call the truce so that you guys can start to present yourself in a better light um it says the stage is set for happiness it's like it's just about how you perform so you guys it's like your person wants you guys to perform better you've both been performing piss poor uh, performance low performance and in this relationship either the both of you or just one of you so it's like maybe this person even wants a, a happy life, happy home with you. They want to gift you something. They want to show you their love by way of buying you something, taking you somewhere, trip, gift, taking you out. Uh, they want the power dynamic to shift here. They want to maybe be in the driver's seat uh, in terms of this relationship. The seven of Cups here. They got a lot of wishes, unfulfilled wishes. The Lord of unfulfilled wishes, I believe. That's the seven of Cups. So it's like a lot of wishes, dreams. They're not sure. They're a little bit scattered. They may even have other options. Um, but I really feel like they're scattered in terms of um, not knowing where this is going to go. And they've been here before. Yeah, the Page of Wands. It's like they dream of maybe reconciling with you, having makeup sex with you, having a makeup session with you. They're also thinking about how they can ground this energy. They're coming out or coming to you renewed of some sense. Like maybe they used to think one way. Now they're thinking a new way. What does this person want with Aquarius? Yeah, seven of Pentacles. So maybe they want progress. Uh, they with Seven of Pentacles, it talks about finish what you start. So this person wants to finish what they start. Also in the Seven of Pentacles, it says that someone is frustrated with how things are going, but they know that it's not over. Yeah, this person wants to work well, work together with you. They want you guys to, they want to do something big with you. They understand that now they need to do something big with you. Okay, whether that's move in, buy a cat dog house car i don't know um but they want to do something with you collaborative e effort here they want to communicate how they feel about you by way of making something real tangible they want uh, maybe long term with you well i can't make it a seven and three gives you ten and then the ten of pentacles popped out it's like they just want something real with you they want this to be real they see you as the one but you both have had a lot of hangups, a lot of drama. Um, let's talk about what this relationship is, what it was for the both of you. Let's see. Let's see. What was this relationship like for a queer? Well, let's define this relationship right now. What is the relationship like right now? Aquarius and their person paradise okay happiness expansion joy playfulness oneness enjoying each other and that's why you came in as temperance and they came in as the knight of pentacles and the two of swords not knowing where it's gonna go but they're riding a wave it's good right now we don't know what's gonna be next week abundance wow this person really so you go you both are enjoying each other right now you're keeping a positive mindset you're trying to manifest exactly what you want gratitude and bliss very nice what does Aquarius person need to work on? What does Aquarius person need to work on? Coffee cup meetings, conversing and savoring the moment, being uh, a friend, friendship and feeling uplifted. So your person can be pessimistic at times. Maybe they don't set meetings or dates. You have to do the work. So they need to work on that. What does Aquarius need to work on moving forward? Soulmates, you need to understand that this is a soul connection agreement a soul contract, a partnership. You can't do all the work, nor can they. It is um, 
it's going to be mutually beneficial if the both of you input you need to recognize this is a soulmate high level karmic toxic one i don't know but get a personal reading uh, let's see what can aquarius and aquarius person expect in the near future what can aquarius person and aquarius expect in the near future sunglasses so watching looking stalking gaslighting perception focusing out okay so i don't know if this is more so looking too far into the future when you need to just savor the moment be in the moment uh, enjoy each other now i don't know if this is going to be a separation in the future to the point where now you're looking at each other stalking each other because you really want to be with one another what can aquarius and their person expect in the future let's clarify sunglasses here date okay meeting someone new dating get back out there plan so maybe it is going to be separation somebody's going to have somebody new and the other person's going to go into a stalking mode because it's like i really wanted to be with this person uh, or i really want to be with this person but I, maybe i messed it up uh aquarius is on to someone new uh maybe aquarius is looking at the other person let's see one more card addiction yeah codependent so it's like maybe somebody just can't get can't get it right you know it's in another person is ascending so it's a very codependent toxic relationship um where it, it could have a lot of promise but at the same time somebody just won't do right somebody just and somebody else and the other person just not going to tolerate it maybe they've tolerated it uh they dealt with it for too long all right let's see what the future holds for aquarius uh, and career and finance career and finance was the future future hope for aquarius and career and finance oh poverty okay we gotta uh clarify that because we had a really good financial reading okay what does this mean what does this mean for aquarius false person oh, so if you keep dealing with somebody here you keep going in a cycle with a particular person they're going to rob you rob you of all your good nature your essence maybe even spirit will stop blessing you because you're not with the right person whoa can't make this up and it's popped out of my hand courtship so you're gonna be impoverished you're gonna be in need if you keep dealing with the wrong person if you keep being in a relationship with the wrong person Whew. all right aquarius don't let people mess up your money also be in tune with yourself in the vibration just of your life in general when people resurface when they come back when you go to them or when they come to you look at how your life changes or shifts is it for good is it for bad if it's bad then you might need to cut dry cut ties and move on even if it hurts you to do so uh, but don't put yourself on the chopping block don't sacrifice yourself to be with a particular person and don't think that you can manipulate divine energy if they don't want you with this person they don't want you with them point blank period but you still have free will you can do whatever you want but maybe the blessing you know you know on your life will start to be lifted because you're choosing to go down you know a particular path with wrong person or wrong people um so keep that in mind aquarius uh let's see what does aquarius love life look like in the near future there could also be some of you could be in some i just picked this up business partnership somebody's like robbing you blind they're lying about where the money is going where it went one more card to clarify aquarius financial career and finance in the future thief wow i can't make this up yeah somebody is definitely if you're in part going in partnership in business with somebody we saw the seven of swords somebody could be lying about what they're doing also the seven of swords tells you to be the lone wolf go it alone do it alone be independent you do not need to be in partnership at this time but if you're in partnership in terms of career and finance you need to double check do background checks you need to be all on top of your money especially if you're trusting someone else with your resources your money your time because they can be an outright thief there can, it can also um translate into if you're dealing with the wrong person you know they're energetically rob, robbing you blind all right so let's see um love and romance for aquarius in the near dang that car 
family room so you're gonna go into new dimension new um i don't know somebody's gonna bring you into like secret their secret life or where they didn't never brought you to maybe they even might introduce you to to their family or you to their family or, or them to your family um it's like they're they're bringing you into a, an intimate place intimate space here um love and romance in the near future for aquarius yeah coffin something is definitely over some of you a family dynamic could be over you can be planning to divorce separate um it's a no-go with the coffin um maybe and then it can be interpreted as some of you if your person never introduced you to family um that's over that that you know that way of not being intimate with you and not letting you in on their life is over let's see near future love a message a good news message coming for you uh in maybe seven days seven weeks at the at most but that's seven days um okay so somebody wants a new start with a child here um maybe by the next holiday no but this is reconciliation you know and this, you could be smaller than this person uh, maybe in stature or maybe even in in terms of your career you know maybe they have more than you um they're looking at you as the ch they want to nurture something too whomever this is who's giving you this good news message love and romance for aquarius in the near future two cards came i knew it was coming out yeah this person really wants Somebody wants to be with you, Aquarius. Uh, they want to marry you. Wealthy man, marriage. Somebody really wants this. This is what they've been dreaming of. The distant horizon. And this is maybe the soul transformation that they have been going through. They were the one ascending. Some of you will be getting married. In the very near future, six months to a year. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Take care. Many blessings to you.